Ça va, on est prêt Bonsoir, uh, welcome to the Maison Française and to tonight's screening of Audrey Diwan's Happening, a film adaptation of Annie Ernaux, an homonymous autobiographical novel. Well done on getting in, I think the queue is building up outside. Um, you are in for something tonight. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. First published in 2000, L'Evénement tells the story of Annie Ernaux's personal experience seeking an abortion in 1963 when she was 23 years old and attending university in Rouen. A grueling experience and a clandestine abortion for the procedure would not be legalized in France for another 12 years. In some places, it still hasn't been, and in others still, it has again ceased to be. With her distinctive mix of intimate detail and restrained flat prose, her back and forth between past and present, Livinmont told a personal yet universal story about women of Ernaud's generation, that which came of age in the 1960s and which saw putting in place of the Loi Veil, which legalized abortion in France in 1975. It marks one of several milestones in her best-selling and now noble-winning noble uh, career, cementing the auto-sociobiographical genre that she has pioneered and explored to great effect in books um, such as Les Armes Vides, La Place, La Honte, and Les Années, arguably her chef dœuvre Je sens l'écriture comme un couteau. I feel writing like a knife, Ernaud notes in a long email exchange she published with Frédéric Yves Janet in 2011. A decade later, the blade is sharper still in the 21's 2021 adaptation of Happening, a film that won the Rione d'Oro at the 78th Mostra di Venezia. After having seen the film for the first time at a private screening during lockdown, um, during one of the many COVID lockdowns in France, Annie Arnaud told Audrey Diwan, Vous avez réalisé un film juste. Juste in French can mean several things correct, appropriate, just a little, fair, righteous. Some of you may think of Camus' Les Justes, the play, or Les Justes par les Nations. It is a word Annie Arnaud likes and uses quite a bit, but mostly in its first meaning, emphasizing documentary faithfulness rather than moralizing judgment. She continues, this film doesn't demonstrate anything, doesn't judge, nor does it dramatize. It follows Anne in her life and her student environment from the moment when she waits in vain for her period to come to the moment when her pregnancy is over, when this happening has passed. Temporality matters in Annie Arnaud, as those of you who've read her well know. Here it is the anguished waiting for a period, the relentless passing of days in an unwanted pregnancy, as the clock ticks and Anne desperately seeks a way out, a way back to her life, her, as her body begins to change become foreign to herself, and as she sometimes, and she becomes estranged from her own friends and from her youth, for whom life goes on as it had before. I can't imagine anyone other than Anna Maria Bartolome to play Anne's role, and in a certain way, to be me, aged 23, Annie Arnaud says. She is overwhelmingly vivid and true to how I remember it. This film is also juste in Ernaud's eyes thanks to Audrey Diwan's camera and what Diwan describes as the carnal embodied experience she wanted to capture on film. The fact that she did not shy away from showing in graphic detail what women had to do before abortion was legalized. She bravely shows, Ernaud notes, the brutal reality of a sewing needle or a catheter introduced into the uterus by a fizzer's d'ange, an angel maker as clandestine abortion practitioners were called in France at the time. The film seeks to shock, and Evno applauds this, for it is the only way to, quote, fully understand what has been inflicted to women's bodies and what it would mean to go back there. The conditional tense is no longer appropriate in this country, for this is what it means and why this film needs to be seen. When Evno wrote L'Evénement in 2000, she flipped the narration back and forth between past and present to tell us something that had happened, that seemingly 
could no longer happen. 20 years later, Diwan chooses to shoot the film only in the present tense, that of the early 1960s, almost as if she knew that this would also be our present, a happening of today. Voilà, un film juste, an urgent film, and a beautiful film. A few days ago, we exchanged with Agnermo to tell her about the screening. She was so happy to know how much her novels and this film could mean to a 17-year-old young woman, me, in America today. She will be overjoyed to hear that there were so many more in this room here this evening. We'd like to thank Shani Pierre, Fanny Geeks, Gex, and Ilana Catreville of the Maison Française for organizing this event. And on behalf of all the young women of this generation, I'd like to thank you all for being here tonight. Enjoy the film. And if you so wish, please stay on at the end. We can have an improvised exchange where you are free to share your thoughts on, on this film and we can, we can, we can talk about it. Uh, a quick word of warning, there, there are some graphic scenes, uh, nudity, sex, and what it's like to have an illegal abortion, and so you should be warned about that. If you are an Erno fan, as I'm sure many of you are, uh, you should know that on Friday the 3rd of March, uh, we and various other people here at Columbia and elsewhere are um, having a reading of happening at the Library Albertine over on the Upper East Side as part of the, nights, the Night of Ideas organized by the French Cultural Services and the Maison Française um, here at Columbia. Et maintenant, bon film. Bon film. <laughs>